and most joyful surprises of coming to know your collection at this museum was seeing Miss Gustin, um, such a huge hero of mine as an artist. Um, and there's so many levels in which his paintings move me and excite me. And um, this is a particularly complicated one and an odd one, which I really love. And, um, you know, everything from his use of this really strange pink, which pops up a lot in his later paintings, and there are bits and pieces of it all around here, and this pink and this red, and there's something kind of discordant and off. And yet, he makes that off color combination work so we meant, you know, we kind of know that this is a shoe or a boot. But then if you look at it, it, it it's really a very monumental shape um, with depth. And it, it, it turns from being a shoe or a boot into some other object. And, you know, you have to say, well, what, what are these shapes? Are they the bottoms of an iron? Are they the soles of shoes? Um, you know, he's placed it on a floor. There's a wall that's like weirdly compressed. I mean, that's the other thing. Things are both big and small at the same time. No, but nothing is what it should be, or nothing is what it seems to be. And in Gustin's work, that to me reflects this kind of amazing psychological level where nothing is what it should be. And his, his work is so personal, and yet, he manages to transcend the personal into somehow making these things touch you or touch me. So this, this painting just moves me on so many levels. And plus, you know, I think it's kind of funny. It's funny and goofy and yet profound at the same time. Mm -hmm.